All right, guys, welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. Uh, today, I'm going to be explaining um, some advanced tips. Um, for the game, I'm gonna be showing you um, some mechanics you probably didn't know about um, and some stuff that you can maximize efficiency when looting and, and, man and managing your inventory and stuff like that. And so without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. All right, guys. So um, what I'm going to explain is quick moving and quick equipping. Also splitting items as well. So um, I'll be showing you uh, splitting items uh, right now. So um, to split items is you want to hold left control and then drag. And it works with money. You can use the slider if you want. You can type in a digit as well. And so you can do that. And... Let's do the same thing with ammo. Use the slider or type in a digit, whatever you want to do. Oops. And uh, to quick move thing, and it only works with these two, so you don't have to worry about that. So uh, to quick move items, you're just going to hold left control again and just click, click. You can do this with any item you want as long as you have space in your inventory. Um, you can do this with you know items, uh, just backpacks and stuff like that, right? And um, you can uh, also, to quick equip things, you're gonna wanna um, hold left alt and then click. You can do this with rigs, helmets, backpacks, you know, guns. You can do this with guns, show you right there. You can do this with melee weapons. You can do it with anything, uh, as long as you have a spot for it, you know, face masks, whatever, right? Um, what else? Um, also, to rotate items, I know I was struggling the, for, with this for a little while, but um, it's literally just hitting R to rotate items. R, rotate, you know, makes sense. <laughs> and so, um, let's go ahead and throw all this away real quick. And to quick loot attachments off of guns, you know, if you can't take the entire gun um, into quick, quick loot attachments, it's literally holding control. And just click it'll move it into your you know if you're in this you know, if you're in your stash screen it'll move it to your stash but if you have a backpack open um well, like i can't show you because uh, i'm not in a raid but it does work in a raid and you can do that um as well as you know move it back oh yeah hit left alt <laughs> and uh that'll be that as well as one more thing um to discard items um, you're gonna want to hit delete key is the default. I have it. I have it bound to my mouse button so I can quickly delete things if I want to. And also hitting Y will be you know quick you know really fast to delete it. You know hit delete and then Y it'll delete it instantly. You have to you know mouse it over there. And um, that'll wrap up the inventory management section I guess. So um, let's go ahead and move on to the uh, mechanics. All right, guys, so um, for some advanced mechanics, um, they're in the game. Uh, they're kind of difficult to get a grasp on at first, um, but they do become really useful um, uh, later in the game when you when you start when you start playing and you know what's going on, you know how to play, you know, some tactics you use, stuff like that. Um, so uh, the first one is going to be a pretty helpful one. Um, it's going to be checking your mag. So default, I don't know what it is. Um, you're gonna have to look in the settings and it is gonna be right over here. Uh, check ammo. So mine is a key, you know, uh, that's on my mouse pad. So, or on my mouse, I'm sorry. Uh, so checking ammo is gonna be um, that, what animation you just saw there. Um, <laughs> That is really helpful for determining what what ammo you have in your gun. If you picked up a random gun, or you know, if you're a scav, you don't know what what ammo you got, so you just check it like that. Um, some mags um, either modify the speed at which you check the ammo. See so yeah, how that's pretty fast. There's some where you have to like, you know, keep turning it around, turning around the mag, and see, you know, looking to see how much ammo is in it. Um, so that is quite helpful. As well as checking the chamber is going to be left shift and T. That's going to that's going to check the chamber uh, to see if there is a bullet indeed in there. So if you're you know running a Mosin, you don't want to you know cock it back and then 
or, or shoot and it's not loaded so you have to cock it back and then you might die so um that's gonna be um left shift t again and that's that's the default key but i haven't changed that um so um laser or you know tactical device is gonna be t so it'll turn on your laser you know however many you turn on whatever you know if you have like three lasers on your gun it'll turn them all on at the same time and um that's that so um Let's see, what else? Um, so into the advanced movement mechanics. Um, so to do a step out, which is that, to step out of cover like that, you're gonna hold left alt and then E, your lean button. So you're gonna, it, it actually moves you, as you can see, kind of. I'm getting farther and farther away from the door. But um, so. Just keep that in mind, I guess. So, you know, you can step out. You know someone's there. Step and step out and just you know, spray them down. Whatever you want to do. Um, you know, obviously, leaning is Q and E. And so, also, if you want to do a smooth lean, like like this, like just smoothly look back and forth, stuff like that, um, it's going to be left alt and D and A for the left. And so, that's that. And if... And you can you can keep it like this if you want to, and you can move through rooms you know leaned like this, and all to, all you want to do instead of you know moving like that, all you want to do is to reset it is just hit either lean key, and that'll reset it. And so also um, this was a big one I didn't know I saw the streamers you know um, going you know really fast and then going really slow and I and I thought you'd use the mouse wheel. If you look at the bottom left hand corner, it'll it'll see my speed going from really slow to really fast to really slow again, right? I thought they were using the mouse the mouse wheel going because you can you can slow your speed down with the mouse wheel like that. Which I, I think it's kinda dumb because there's no point in going this fast. Because you can still hear your footsteps and that's the only reason why you want to go slow, pretty much. So um it's gonna be default to caps lock, but I have I have it on my mouse button, or I have it on a mouse button on my mouse, so I can just, you know, whenever. It's kind of finicky, you know, if you're if you're moving side to side, it's kind of finicky. It won't you, I won't always hit it, so you just want to make sure you're moving forward, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that's a pretty big one. Oh, one more thing I forgot to add is to um check your fire rate so that is pretty helpful when it comes to if you spawn in like a scav with a vss or something like that you don't want it to single fire you want it to full auto so you can do that by um i think it is i forget what it is default but um i changed mine to c and i moved my crouch button to somewhere uh to, on my mouse um so mine is c um you can look at it in the uh settings it's going to be check fire mode right there. It's going to be C for me. And, or fire mode. It, just, the, just the fire mode letters. Um, just like this. Just that is just checking the fire mode. And you hear the sound of it, right? And to check fire mode, that is this. It'll, it'll be silent. And you can also, you can hit it. And then you can change the fire mode as well. So what I like to do is whatever bind, um, is to check is the is the hit the fire mode I just hit it uh, you can change it to double click let's see where is it at yeah right here so fire mode that's the clicking sound you hear it and what I do to check fire mode silently um, I just double click C so you can program that right here so you can have it release you know stuff like that so what I do I can click it or I can just double click it and then change it it'll be silent so I know someone's in here they're here that click and they're like okay someone's about ready to push or you can just then change it just like that so um, changing scopes like this if you have a candid sight or if you have a top mounted sight or something like that um, it's gonna I, I forget the default keybind but it's um, it is right uh, where is it at change scope change it's um right here uh change scope magnification it'll also or, no that's not that's not it 
it's switch scopes. Uh, I forget the uh, um, default keybind, but it is on my mouse button. Again, I have a lot of mouse buttons, so uh, I bind a lot of them. So that's what that is. And changing the scope magnification, I forget what that is. I think it's like alt and something else default, but I have it to scroll wheel so that I can just, you know, easily go like this. Doesn't have a, does it, this, this scope doesn't have a uh, magnification, but it does have like a, like a, it lights up the ring or whatever like that. As you can see, if you look at the top of my scope, it like turns the button, which is kind of cool. And so, you know, I have a bound to my mouse button. Like I click my my mouse uh, scroll wheel left, and that's the button. And so I think that's pretty helpful. So, you know, you're clearing that. Then you want to clear close quarters, stuff like that. Um, what else? Um, let's see. Oh yeah, to, and then you can also switch. You know, your reticle if you have like a PK06 or whatever. Um, with the um, adjust scope zoom or whatever that keybind it also changes all of the reticles stuff like that and also um, um, one more tip if you want to throw a grenade it th it throws from your right hand so just keep that in mind when you're throwing a nade because I've done this way too many times I'll try to throw it in this doorway and I'll aim right here and it'll hit that and then bounce down and then you know explode so you want to, um, you know, if you're if you're going to throw a nade in somewhere that's on your uh, left side, just lean and then throw your nade. Probably probably a, uh, one of the best tips because uh, I've done it so many times. So just keep in mind you throw it with your with your right hand. So um, that's that. Uh, what else? I almost forgot. So blind firing is, you know, um, like this. So. You can spray around a corner like this, so if you know a guy's right there, you can, you know, like that, right? Or you can also, um, if you're behind cover, let's just say you're behind cover here, and you can overhead fire like that. So, um, what you want to do to do that is hitting Alt and W and S. W and S, Alt and W and S. Um, goes blind fire to the right and overhead like that and if you're um, you, smooth leaning is you know a, a and D so a alt plus a and D is smooth lean and alt plus W and S is um, overhead and uh, blind fire to the right side so um, just those two quick tips and I think that's all the um, movement tips I got, and, um, I guess I'll show you how to b-hop real quick. Um, I can't really show you because I don't have a camera on my keyboard here, but it's, it's pretty simple. So just, as soon as you hit sprint, hit jump. So, within like a, like a half second of each other, I guess. So just, you're know when you got it, like, like that was a fail. That was a six, yep, that, that second one was a fail, so... You're knowing you got it, because you're jumping pretty far. But that's only used for um, some situations. Like, you know, if you know someone's in here and you don't want to, you know, run like that, you can just be hop it over there, something like that. That, that Those are both fails, but <laughs> you get the point. Uh, so that's that. Um, anything else? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Turning your head if you want to turn your head without moving your entire body like this, you know turning your head look up look away You know stuff like that you see people doing um, Their look this way and then their b hop or what you know, whatever like that so they can get a little peek um, That's just holding the mouse wheel in and then just turning your mouse, but keeping it held So just hold mouse wheel and you know move your mouse stuff like that. That's pretty much that um yeah, that's pretty much it. Q and uh, X and X and C, I think, are um, prone and crouch. I have it bound to my mouse button, but that doesn't really matter. You can change it however you like. And um, that's it for the uh, the advanced movement mechanics. And uh, I think that's honestly the end of the video. So um, I hope you guys found this helpful. And um, if you did, please let me know. That would be awesome. And um, I hope you guys do have a good rest of your day. Appreciate you guys for watching. And peace out.